dots on it. What could cause such a thing? Let me see. I have spots. I'm eroding. Why would it be eroding? Here, let's get a closer look. Oh, this looks like advanced acid rain damage. There must be socks. Socks! Didn't we have coal plants here? We do, and they emit sulfur dioxide. Yeah. That's been known to erode building materials. Oh dear, what if we have a socks epidemic? I think we should... We got another patient here! What's wrong with, with this one? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, that looks very severe. So we've got some sort of tree. What's Let's the matter with you, leaves. tree? My leaves are dying. Ugh. Your leaves I are have dying. No nutrients. Ugh. I'm hmm. starving. This supports our socks epidemic suggestion. Yeah, probably. Because socks. trees suffer both from acid rain by impacting the leaves, but they uh -huh. also suffer from acid rain because acid rain depletes nutrients in the soil, so this forest suffers from a nutrient deficiency. I think we might have a socks epidemic on our hands. Well, how do you think we should treat this tree? Well... We need a doctor here! Oh, goodness. Oh, what's the case uh -huh. here? <gasps> oh. Do you see any external symptoms? I can't see. I can't see what's wrong with Unless it Unless she can talk. <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> rain depletes nutrients out of the soil that affect the trees, but I think they can also remove heavy metals from the soil and wash them into water systems. That yeah. has been a cause of fish kills. How can we help this patient? Well, at least we have some experiences in animals. Maybe we can inject... We have a patient in grave condition! Oh my goodness, we can see see severe surface lacerations. It looks like advanced weathering of some sort. Oh goodness. But this rubber products aren't affected by acid rain, are they? They're not affected by SO2. You mean it's problem of NOx? Sulfur dioxide contributes to acid rain. So does NOx. But NOx also contributes to the formation of ozone. ozone. Okay. Sulfur dioxide in the gas phase in the atmosphere can become sulfuric acid in rain. This is the primary source of acid rain. But NOx, which is either NO2 or NO can, in the gas phase, also can contribute to acid rain by forming HNO3 in rain, nitric acid. But NOx, NOx, in the presence of volatile organic compounds and sunlight of the proper wavelength can also cause the formation of ozone. And ozone, I think, is what's harming our tire. So yeah. we might have SOX problems, but I think what we've seen today can be backed up by having a NOx problem. I think we have a NOx epidemic, doctor. We need a temporary treatment for each of these patients. What should we do, doctor? Let's treat them one by one. All right. Building. We'll clean you. You've been suffering from nutrient depletion, so we'll give you a special nutrient supplement into your soil. And to ensure that those nutrients stay within the soil, we'll cover you up. Doctor, I think our nutrient yes. treatment for the tree has worked. Oh, that's so much healthier. Wow. Oh, wonderful. Our dear patient fish here has been suffering from two consequences of acid rain, the acidification of his stream and also the leaching of potentially poisonous heavy metals from the soil into the stream environment. Well, I think 
As a temporary treatment, we can give the fish an injection to help it cope with the heavy metals in its body, and afterwards we can put it in clean water. Okay. Let's do it. Hold still fish, this will only hurt a bit. Ow! You are free. Breathe easy. <laughs> Lastly, this tire is in very ser serious condition. One temporary thing we can do is probably... You will be better off. There.